Hi, I'm Shar, and I'm going to show you how to get an image into text life, into Code Life, and start manipulating the texture. So I just opened up a new project in Code Life, um, and uh, you see over here that there's this texture zero being passed in. You can see where that's being passed in if you go on top of where the on top of the control control panel. Make sure you're on the shader stage um, uh, tab, and you go to texture one, and you see that this is named texture zero. I can name this whatever I want. I'm going to name it my pick. And I just have to make sure to pass it in the same way that I wrote it here to here. I could have left it as texture one, but I'm going to just change it to my pick. And I'm just going to load the uh, file by clicking this dot 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 right here. Um, and it'll open up the browser. And I'm going to choose this picture that Plato thought how people saw, thought eyes shot out of the I add, add the eyeball. Now we know that it's photons coming in here. But anyway, it's beside the point. So we have that loaded in, and how we access it is we're going to be using this um, built-in function uh, call, uh, from in GLSL called uh, 2D Texture, and this is going to return a color of the pixel at the point that we're going to access it at. And so colors in GLSL are vector fours, RGBA, so vector four, and let's call this. Um, the sampler that it takes is going to be my pick, and then it takes in a coordinate, and then we're just going to pass in the V text word. And let's let's set our output to be that. Cool, there it is. Um, um, so V text chord goes from negative goes from zero to the left corner and one in the right corner, but the pictures are accessed in zero and the uh, right. The, the left, the top left, and then um, zeros are the top left and ones at the bottom, the bottom right. So it's the opposite, and that's why this picture is flipped. Easy fix. What we're going to do is we're going to create a variable to hold our coordinates, and we're just going to call it chord. Chord, and then it's going to be vector 2. Oh, my, my image must be down here, so I can't be putting down here. I can't see what my video looks like. So vector 2. Um, oh, right. Uh, chord equals the text chord, and then we want uh, for the chord to be um, have the image be uh, zero at the bottom and one at the top, and so that only affects the y value. So we can redefine chord, or rather add a vector two to the chord. Plus equals vector two, and then we're going to say, oh, rather I'm going to redefine it, and then x is going to be chord dot x. We're not going to change that, and then y is going to be um, 1 minus for that y. Okay, well, now we see it's right side up. Um, we often notice that, uh, so the, the, the x coordinate is, it's, it is facing the right way, but if you wanted to flip that, we could do that. If you, if you want it to be mirrored, you can get a mirror. Uh, next thing we want to do is we want the um, coordinates to be the same ratio as our screen size, and how we do that is we're going to multiply chord.x times the like the, I think it's like the aspect ratio, or rather resolution dot x divided by. Like this this um right now well before it was assumed that our screen was square, um, and now it normalizes further that can be in this device screen. Um, and now we want to move it over chord plus equals set two. We don't want to move it over in the y direction, so y is going to be zero, and then I think it's actually negative. Because we want to move it over to the right. Yes, so it would be fifty and zero point five. Okay, cool. So now we see our image. Let me make it like four five. Yeah, there we go. And there's our image, and then we can just do cool stuff with it. Um, for example, we can uh, move get the image to um, move in and out. Let's say chord uh, times equals sign of time. Cool, now we see that it's kind of moving in and out. We don't want it to ever be negative. I don't know why you'd want this, but okay, there's the sort of moving in and out. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to show you something cool in code life. Right now, if the coordinates go above um, uh, 1 or below 0, it'll clamp it. And if we 
want it to repeat in the X and the Y direction, we can do that here in the control panel. So underneath the texture one coordinate, um, uh, texture one coordinate, we can minimize those two other ones just to kind of uh, so that this is the um, parameter that we're using. So if we go under the warp and get a repeat, it's going to repeat in the X direction and this one is repeat in the Y direction. So now we see our picture. And this makes it really easy so that you don't you don't have to do you don't have to be so careful about your um, ranges always falling between zero and one. It just makes it a lot easier for live coding, uh, for performance, etc. One last thing I want to show you just really quickly is just how to add your own texture. So if you run out of, of these ones, if you, if you use them all, you can just hit this dot 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 right here, add another parameter. This, not, not that, 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 sorry. You hit this plus right here under parameters. You see parameters. You hit the plus and you go to constant and then texture 2D. It'll add another texture for you that you can name and do whatever you want. Anyway, so that's how you get a texture into code life and, and uh, get those correct coordinates.